Imagine a small yet incredibly powerful combat vehicle capable of sneaking into places where no tank can go. This is not science fiction but reality. Today we will tell you about the amazing German armored vehicle, the Wiesel II. Why is it called the Military Flea? And how can this tiny machine perform tasks that even large combat vehicles struggle with? Watch this video until the end, you will discover incredible facts and fascinating examples of this vehicle in action. So, the Wiesel II is an improved version of the first model, which appeared in Germany in the 1980s. At that time, the military realized they needed a lightweight yet powerful armored vehicle that could be quickly transported by air. Thus, the Wiesel I was born, small, agile, but already powerful enough for combat missions. However, as time passed, it became clear that while the Wiesel I was good, it had several drawbacks. It was too small, meaning there was little room inside for the crew and additional equipment. Therefore, in 1994 German engineers began developing the Wiesel II, a vehicle that retained all the advantages of its predecessor but became more functional and convenient. Let's analyze how the Wiesel II differs from the first version. First, it became larger. Its length is now 4.1 meters, width 1.85 meters and height 1.7 meters. These changes increased the internal volume, allowing for more equipment and even space to transport wounded soldiers in its medical version. Second, the new model received a more powerful engine, a 1.9-liter Volkswagen turbo diesel with 110 horsepower. This little machine can accelerate up to 70 kilometers per hour. And thanks to its improved suspension and tracks, it easily overcomes difficult terrain such as forests, swamps, and sand dunes. But the main feature of the Wiesel II is its modularity. This means that the base vehicle can be adapted for different tasks. For example, there are versions equipped with TOW anti-tank missiles, Stinger anti-aircraft systems, 120mm mortars, as well as medical and command variants. Imagine, the same armored vehicle can be both a tank hunter and a mobile hospital. It is important to note that the Wiesel II is not just an armored car. It was specifically designed for airborne troops, meaning it can be transported by planes and even parachuted. This makes it indispensable in situations where rapid deployment of equipment into a combat zone is needed. Imagine an operation where the enemy is located in a hard-to-reach mountainous area. Regular tanks cannot get there, but the Wiesel II can be airdropped and quickly take positions. Thanks to its low weight and high maneuverability, it can suddenly attack the enemy and then swiftly retreat. Now, let's talk about real combat missions where the Wiesel II has proven itself. For example, German forces used it in peacekeeping missions in Afghanistan. In urban combat conditions, the Wiesel II was especially useful. It could quickly move through narrow streets while maintaining effective firepower. In one such operation, German soldiers used the Wiesel II with a mortar to suppress enemy positions on elevated terrain. Thanks to its high mobility, the vehicle quickly changed position after firing, avoiding retaliatory attacks. This once again proved that even a small armored vehicle can play a key role in battle. Interestingly, the Wiesel II is not just a war machine. The Germans also use it for training and even search and rescue operations. For example, the medical version allows for the rapid evacuation of wounded soldiers from the battlefield, while reconnaissance models are equipped with modern cameras and sensors for data collection. However, this vehicle has its drawbacks. For instance, despite its armor, it cannot withstand heavy artillery fire. Therefore, the Wiesel II is never used as a primary combat vehicle but always operates in conjunction with other units. Another important point is the cost of operation. Despite its small size, maintaining the Wiesel II is not cheap, as it requires regular servicing and replacement of complex components. However, overall, this expense is justified since the vehicle performs unique tasks that larger equipment cannot handle. Today, the Wiesel II continues to be actively used by the German army. Moreover, new versions of this vehicle are being developed, including unmanned variants. This means that in the future, the Wiesel II could become even more autonomous and efficient. As you can see, this tiny armored vehicle is truly a jack-of-all-trades. It can perform a huge number of tasks and contribute to modern military operations. What do you think about the Wiesel II? Share your opinion in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss new and exciting videos.